It looked like Darth Maul. Sounds like it's vomiting. Oh, that's gross. Hello, hello. Ooh, we're going through the dark tunnel of the carport. All right, it feels good to be back. I was gone for like a week and a half visiting my family. Um, my aunt had a wedding and so now I'm back. So we only did one video last week. So this week we will get back to uploading two videos or three videos a week. We have a lot of projects going on, but before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed. And let's see what's happening on the property today. YouTube trolls have all been saying in the comments like you gotta have a screen over the top, mosquitoes will breed, but the mosquitoes are gone. Yeah, no mosquitoes. Like literally within a week, gone. Like not even one. So no more mosquitoes until, so now we know they come out from like April until September 1. We're gonna start with the inch and a half piping. So this jug is going into the kitchen for the kitchen sink. All rainwater. Yeah, all rainwater. So that's what we're doing. We're hooking up the piping for that to shoot across to the yurt and then we'll be able to have running water in the yurt. Don't even have to trench because this whole area goes down anyways and we can just bury it later and we turn it into a garden. Yeah, the yurt is literally just like right there. I don't trust these guys, they're actually kind of cheap. These, so we got a new ball valve to use for on off and uh, the rainwater in here is replenished so often every time yeah. it rains that we're kind of have endless water in endless, the kitchen. Yeah. So you're okay, this is good, this is just for kitchen sink for washing for teeth brushing mm -hmm. for all that jazz it's better than bringing that bucket in and out so and we'll see if this actually uh this old school cast iron pump actually works yeah it's supposed to pump uphill 25 feet up and it's actually level yeah so we'll see that goes in there and you can see how it's not a perfect fit it's kind of like or it's pretty it's pretty good okay so i got special glue for you <clears throat>
What are you doing now? Well, we brought all of our ratchet straps to the town side in our vehicle that's over there, and so I don't have them. I just have this one, it's too short, so we're gonna just temporarily strap this one to the tree and then get the longer ratchet straps later and um, secure this tank proper. This is just gonna get it level for now and then I'll change it out in a few days. I just don't want to do it too hardcore because I don't want to break the metal on the tanks. This is just like, just a precautionary for the time being. That will even work too, just without even having to go around it. You think that? I just think if I went all the way around, it'd be much more secure. Um, secure. I think that if I ratchet this too hard, it might snap this metal off. Gotcha. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of weight in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's holding pretty good right now. Hey Matt, we're coming for you out there. Cool. How's it going? Pretty good, it's on and off. I see a fire. Yeah, I got, I got, it's hot as hell. I rebuilt it. Oh, look, you burned everything. I burned that whole pile. Oh. I'm hot as hell, <laughs> I'm dying over here. Uh, You're the keeper of the plane. It's finally got a good bed of coals. What was like, it? In Mayan culture or Aztec culture or one of the ancient prolific cultures? Incan or something like that. Yeah. They, the keeper of the plane was like the most important job yeah. in the whole village because Makes sense. their job 24 7 was to keep that fire going. How are you going to roast marshmallows? That's right. Incan marshmallows. Did they roast Incan berries? I think it was the Incans that developed the marshmallow. <laughs> Maybe they roasted some Fisalis. You need to tell me and the lovely people in YouTube land where you want to pump your water from. Okay, I'm thinking right Don't drop that on the sink. Right here. Oh my god, this is heavy. Right yeah. here. You want to do it with your left hand? Because I, wa I need to wash with my right. So if I'm pumping with my left and I'm washing with my right versus this where I'm like, I'm not used to that with my left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're like certain. I can I can pump pretty easy with my left. But I can't wash that well with my. Because I'll make do with whatever you decide. Like I'll I'll figure it out. So you you decide. I think it should be on this side, and then eventually this is gonna be that countertop that we were talking about, mm. and then for drying dishes, and that. So like, if I take this away, the temporary <laughs> water, um, you don't want it here, do you? Like where do you want it? Well, it wouldn't make sense to have it back there. It'd be cool to yeah. have it right. So this here. is gone, or we use this for some kind of a What's something. Thing? But like, where do you want it? How high do you want it? Like, tell me, tell me where you want it. Probably the level of this, right? You want the same level as the sink? Like, right there, because water will spill out. We don't want it to go over. No more seven gallon water jugs. Yeah, we've had these cool seven gallon water jugs that we've used. <laughs> and that means uh, you can show them how we used to fill up with rainwater. But you have to conserve like hardcore with this. That's been like hand washing, tooth brushing, Dishes. Dish cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. We just haven't been drinking the rainwater, even though we could.
Good morning, good morning. It is cold today. I don't know if the camera can pick up my breath, but it's chilly today. We had the fire going this morning. Um, it's about 10 o'clock right now, just finishing up, doing the dishes, cleaning up the kitchen from breakfast, and Jake already got started on clearing more around the yurt. Um, so what we're doing, like we did yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, we were just clearing around the yurt, just taking the chainsaw and opening it up so when we look out the window we don't have to see salmonberry bushes or bushes and we can actually see the forest. And yeah, so yesterday we cleared so much right behind the yurt, so this window right here is behind the yurt. And we cleared so much and it just opened it up and we're like, oh my gosh, why didn't we do this sooner? Because we obviously we have the driveway cleared in this side, but back there was just like so full of bushes and ugh. It needed to be cleaned up and have a nice haircut kind of thing. So Jake is doing that. I'm in here cleaning up and then we're gonna head outside and finish the piping for the sink so we can actually have some running water in here which is really exciting. So we don't have to have that stupid bucket anymore. So yeah, let's get on with the vlog and yay. Oh yeah, one more thing. So I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, Jake and I and Matt, I guess he's part of the team now, have changed the name to our property. It is no longer Blackfish Hollow. Um, we changed it to Como Ready, um, which is really cool and it fits our property really, really nicely. And keep watching because we're going to explain what Como Ready means. Um, we've already told our patrons um, that we changed it and what the definition means and what it means to us. So if you want to just go check it out real quick before the end of the video, go check out our Patreon page. Um, the link is down below. We share a lot of stories and videos and behind the scenes stuff, which is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so let's get going. Okay, so we're putting it in the center and you want it tucked under the lip, but ultimately you're never gonna see any of this frame. We're gonna mill some nice boards outside and have that be our countertops, right? Yes. So I'm going to accommodate for inch and a half thick countertops. Um, so right now I'm going to make this thing the same height that it's going to be when we put the actual wood counters on, like what, in a week or two or something? Mm -hmm. Whenever we get to it, there's more important things. And that way, when I bring in the nice wood for the countertop, I'm gonna just take this wood piece off the top that looks bad, unhook the, the pump, put the new nice milled wood from the forest here, and then put the pump back on top of that. So it's gonna be the height it's gonna be, but the wood will look kind of DIY until we bring in the nice milled stuff for the authentic countertops. Perfect. Okay. But I also gotta cut inside again because it's pouring rain outside. Just your general opinion what about, what about uh, that height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you use the sink. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? Say it again. I'm, I'm watching you guys like I'm watching a TV because there's no TV here. So I'm just snacking and drinking and just kind of watching the drama unfold. The Jake and Nicole live performance. <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing great so far, by the way. <laughs>
What do you think about the uh <laughs> the strength of that? Test it out. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's like, the original the original um foundation on board. I didn't screw that back in. Okay, I'll screw that back in real quick. one that the local hardware store in the town was able to purchase so 60 bucks for this one we're gonna i don't mean, even know if it works yet hopefully it does we can take it outside right now and just pump some water out of a bucket jake and matt found some chanterelles so i'm going to cut them up and put them in our soup we got some more beauties right here Got what's looking good. It's actually daytime, but it looks all dark here in the forest because there's so many trees. But excuse my nails, dirty fingernails, been working all day here. Nice. I didn't expect to find any out here, so I'm gonna use my hat. I don't have my basket, so like, just in a couple little patches, we've got, I got a little chanterelle situation happening. But, I mean, we're just trying to get back. I gotta do some other work, but we just found a great patch. So if you, if Matt can slowly come forward and not trip, check this out. Mm. Like this is literally here at Como Rebbe. I just walked from the, the yurt's right there. Look at this nice patch, so beautiful, like little gold gems. Look at this patch, and then over there, and then over there. <laughs> there I'm gonna get stuck out here for an hour picking chanterelles. We'll pick for five more minutes, we'll get lucky, and then we'll bring them inside and we'll have uh, Nicole show you guys the full harvest here. Dude, Jesus. I really, I mean, top three things I love about this property is foraging for, for fungus, for mushrooms. So I just had to show off for a second. This one is one of the best that I've ever picked so far. Look at that side, I'm gonna flip it around. Look at that side there. Okay. And you can tell her that's the second batch. They didn't see on camera, we did a second one too. Yeah. Like that was in five minutes, babe. That's awesome. That's cool. What you did to the yurt behind just looks really cute. take all this rain instead of a drought any day. So much rain. I don't know if the camera even picks it up. This is so rainy. This is our sand stash we have saved for the upcoming cob oven. More on that later. Subscribe to see it. It's coming. took this rainwater tank down for the time being because we're adjusting it for the hose coming up and uh, for all the water that's just pouring out of it. I'm watching too much alone. You're hanging it out to dry in the rain. I'm gonna skip it. Well, I'm not like that, but if it was the only thing that I had, I would treat it differently. It was like my only set of and I added it to our zucchini soup. I wish you guys can smell this because it smells delish. Don't hit 
hits your head on the island. What's that? Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. <laughs> I give one of these. <laughs> Is that for not having a cylindrical drill bit? Yeah. black outside and it's raining like crazy. This is the first day in a long time where it's rained literally for 15 hours of the full day. It's pouring. And now we have to go outside. It's also the first day where the wood stove has been on for a full 24 hours. Yeah. So we got this whole set of inside done. So we just got to go outside and connect the pipe that we ran from the water tank to here. You want to do it at night? <laughs> We could wait until morning. I mean, I want to get it done. The hardest part about this is filming it, honestly. I just want to get it done. It'd be nice. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow morning to finish it, so... Yeah, we can't take you outside because it's raining, so Here we're go, just... Bro. Headlamps on. Check. Ooh. These are from BioLite. Yeah, BioLite. We're using a lot of BioLite products. The solar panels, the indoor lights. We've shown it in our videos before. Yeah. These are the BioLite um, headlamps. That are LEDs, they have the red light, and they um, are powered with uh, a micro USB recharge. So you can like plug them into the, we plug them into the Jackery battery yeah. and recharge them up. And they're really nice, very slimming. I like it, it's like a headband. Yeah. It says weather resistant, IPX4 rating, which means Yeah, it can so take we're rain. taking them outside, so hopefully I don't get <laughs> zapped. How do you make the red turn on? The first bump hit, oh no. It looked like Darth Maul. All right, let's go. Let's get some running water in here. All right. Lead the way. Lead the way? Yep. We're saving bottles and cans for an upcoming project. Here's where the both pipes come down the yurt platform and then they're going out this way along the ground up into the forest. So here's the pipe we connected from the IBC tote from the rainwater catch off the carport and we got to connect them and then we'll have water. So the only hard part about this is that whenever I'm doing ABS piping I don't like to have water on the pipe when I put the epoxy or the chemical glue on there so I got towels I'm going to try to dry off the best I can. Like, ah, oh, let's just laugh about it. We're working in the pouring rain at night. Well, it's like 7 o'clock. It's, it's, it's like dripping off your nose. Kudos to BioLite, these awesome headlamps that work in the rain. Yeah, seriously, thank you. What are we doing? We are under a tarp, so we don't have to get wet with this. This is our new, our new yurt. It's just a tarp. Yeah. We're downsizing. <laughs> Alright, we're putting in the last piece okay. and then hopefully we have running water. <laughs> we're just doing this because we want this done tonight. We're doing this for the vlog. Honestly, we don't need this, but 
we have to edit all day tomorrow and we have to finish this so that you guys can watch. So this is all for you guys. Yeah. So thank us in the comments. Nicole's now a pro. I'm gonna go out into the rain. I'm gonna I'm gonna open the handle on the IBC tote, which should stay open from now on. And I'm gonna use the ball valve you guys saw earlier to control the flow. So I'm gonna open the ball valve and the IBC handle, and then water should shoot in the pipe. And Nicole's gonna go and pump it inside. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay. Okay. Thanks. It is just pouring out there. Wow, okay. The pump is making noise. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. We might have running water soon. <laughs> okay, what do you think is gonna happen? I think flowing water is gonna come out. Okay, okay. let's see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. Gotta really pump it, build that pressure. Sounds like it's vomiting. Oh, that's gross. No, just clean the pipes out. We have water! Yay, look at it, it's actually really nice. Do you like that? Yeah, it's getting cleaner. Nice, it's clean now, yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! Let's see how much pressure it can get out of this. Let's give it. It's raining outside, we have unlimited water right now. For free. How powerful can you get it? Join us next time as Jake and I show you how we get free cat food for our kittens. Thank you for watching.